In the world of skateboarding, Bob Bernquist is a legend who continues to redefine the sport, pulling off one-of-a-kind tricks. Born in San Paulo, Brazil, skating consumed him. And at age 14, Bob went pro, proving early on that he was the new star to watch. Now he's considered a hero in his hometown. After all, he's won practically every skateboard award possible, is a video game character, and is a family man with another pro skateboarder, Jen O'Brien, with one adorable daughter. He now calls Northern San Diego home, and he's made his dream compound come to life with an organic farm intertwined with one of the world's largest private skate parks. Now this is a person I had to meet. So, Current TV brought you a tree for your organic farm. Oh, that is so cool, thank you. The orange tree. Thank you so much, let's find a spot for this. The way I approach skateboarding is to stay on my board no matter what, and sometimes that no matter what is going down pretty hard. There's no other way, you know, you gotta, you gotta push hard, and it is frustrating, and you know what, life is frustrating sometimes, and you just gotta keep pushing forward. All right. Well, these are all my X Games medals. Oh, wow. <laughs> The most important one for me here is the Thrasher Skater of the Year. These are all voted by skateboarders. That is awesome. That's Bob when Bob's not home. It's Lego Bob and it's got like a little Bob on the shoulder of Lego Bob. This is my daughter Lotus. You want to show him the ramps? Bob's backyard is more than 20 acres and we did a quick stop at his favorite organic fruit trees. These are loquat. Nice and warm from the sun, lots of energy. Enzymes are pumping and jumping. Oh, you guys gotta check out this, these grapefruits. They're huge. Whoa, let's play basketball. That is a big grapefruit. This is, I guess, your little ramp. It's the vert bowl. It's not really a vert ramp. It's got a lot of corners and a lot of unique features. And then after that, I built the loop. This was part of a uh, unique competition they did a few years ago. It's called King of Skate. And they got six of us, and we each had could create whatever we wanted to create, and they had a budget for us, you know. So I created the loop. Jen's commercial. She went out and did a commercial, and then that pipe was there, and they were gonna throw it away. And she's like, "No, don't throw it away. We have a. We would love it. We'll give you our address. You can throw it away there." Is this one of like the best, I guess, private skateboard parks out there? Well, I would say it's the best because it's what I want to skate, you know, and I you know, and I was uh, blessed enough to build it the way I wanted to. This was the uh, first project, uh, you know, and then if you think this is big, as I thought, and I was pretty satisfied with it, check out this next ramp. We're going to the top of the mega ramp. I think just everyday living for me is pretty intense and high risk. We're standing on the 50-foot uh, gap section. I mean, what would I do every day if I'm gonna go skate here, if I'm gonna um, skate the mega ramp in my backyard, it's like every time I skate it, it's pretty risky. So this rolling from the ground is probably around a 70-foot gap, and a bunny just went by. <laughs> I'm not suicidal or anything. I know what I'm doing, and I'm not gonna do anything I don't feel is right. I calculate it, but I don't hold myself back. You get used to being scared and then you enjoy it. At first, you're just scared. I like doing stuff that is outside the box. It feels good because you can just sit down for a second and then just kind of wipe your mind clean and then just like think of whatever, it doesn't matter. You know, and whatever comes to my mind, is something that you know I, I could probably do. So another thing I try to do is not overpromise. Rooms ready. Rooms ready. Rooms ready. I made this so you can see. Right? You gave us a little interview seat. There's no uh, manual to being a father. It has helped me in my skateboarding and my everyday living and um, also a lot in my whole environmental mind and how to keep this planet 
or help, at least do my part, so that when she's my age, she can enjoy it and not just be looking around going like, wow, why didn't they uh, leave me? What is your favorite part about Bob? How humble he is, you know, he's just very humble and he works really hard. He's just, just a really good role model and he inspires me. What do you say, Lotus? Is this good or what? Bob co-founded the Action Sports Environmental Coalition, aimed at bringing more eco-awareness to the extreme sports world. How do you feel about using your name to support like the nonprofit organization and ASAC? You know, why do you do that? Um, because I, I, because I have it. If I get to make a living off skateboarding and you know travel around the world because of skateboarding, I have to be able to give back. And it's not just giving back to skateboarding, it's giving back to this planet because I skateboard on this planet. Well, thank you so much for showing us around your place. You're I really so welcome. appreciate it. No, that was awesome. That was fun. Yeah, very cool. And I guess one last thing before we leave, you know, what's a good thing that we could do to help out the environment? It's very... Well, we just did one thing, which is plant this tree. Um, another thing is just, you know, just pay attention to what you're doing every day, you know, and if you can't afford to get a hybrid car, get it, you know, and if you can't afford to buy organic and buy the products that are sustainable, if it's a little bit more now, then do it, you know, do what you can in your own time and whatever you can do helps. Planting trees feels good. Just take a note of that.